so as I was singing that, Spirit showed uh, many of us as being bound by cords, uh, cords which connect them most likely to different, well, really to the system and to suffering in different ways. And so when you saw me doing this, I'm cutting these cords. Now, the thing about cords is they will reattach. They reattach, but spirit has broken these bonds and broken these cords, and really spirit's showing me many of you, whether here now or to come in the future and watch this on replay or wherever, many of you tied to false notions of self. So we do need to speak to this to you today. The root of all suffering, the root of all failure, there is no failure, but the root of all suffering comes from a general misunderstanding of who it is that you are are. Who it is that you are is based on what you believe about yourself, what you believe about this world, and what you believe about what you can do in this body, mind, and spirit in this world. You don't understand on a fundamental level exactly who it is that you are. You see, you don't get it. You think, I am Crystal Ann Compton here in this space, in this life, and I've got this amount in my bank account, and my kids are doing this, and my husband's doing that, and my job sucks. I am Crystal Ann Compton. This is how you identify, but this is an erroneous identification because you exist beyond this. And this is a message that we can't ever stop hearing and we can't ever stop giving. You are not your name. You are not your personality. You are not your circumstances. You are a divine being that exists non-locally outside of this reality, this dimension, and these conditions. This is an illusion that you selected as a soul to encounter at this level and with this level of suffering so as to wake yourself up in the mainframe, in the condition, and realize within this condition who it is that you are so that you can start flipping the script and running this game. You do not exist within a dimension. You do not exist within a universe. You do not exist within a multiverse. You exist outside of all universal architecture. You are all gods, Christ said, quoting. You are all gods. You are the magician. That's who you are. You're not who your mom told you you were when she said you were fat or you were underachieving or why can't you be like your brother or why can't you be like your sister. You are not who your husband says that you are when he doesn't come home at night, when he cheats on you with other women. You are not who your boss says you are when he doesn't pay you enough, when he works you to the bone, when he takes all of your life force. That's not who you are. That's, who, that's never who you were. You are a being that stands outside of that. You are an infinite creator. You're an infinite creator. And we would say to you, how are you creative in the 3D reality? What things do you do as your personality in this reality that you would call creator? Is it drawing? Is it writing? Is it athletics where you feel in the zone and powerful? Is it music? Is it dancing? Is it moving the body? What would you say that you can do? Is it landscaping? Is it plants? Is it gardening? That you could call creative? Because what is creative but that which comes from the creator? And when you allow yourself in this reality to be creative, even if it seems super mundane, you're cooking a meal, but you're loving it. You're adding the spices. You're, at, you're making a new sauce. You're feeding the people. You love it. When you allow yourself to be in the energy of that, you are the creator. That's who you are. That's just a little taste of what's possible for you. To find your way to that which you truly are, do that more. Be creative more in the little ways that turn you on and that light you up, that will connect you to that which exists outside of the architecture. See, that's not who you are. You are the higher self of who you are. You, you are the I am. And the I am said, I seek to experience myself. How shall I do this? Well, through creation shall I do this. And I shall cast myself into various realities. This is just one of them. And I shall live a life. I shall live many lives. And I'll learn and I'll feel myself. And I will actualize in each of these iterations of that which I am. That's who you are. You're the higher self having fun. The higher self is playing through the function of your life. And you experience it as drudgery, as limited. You experience it in your box, in your system, and yet that is not who you are.
The root of all suffering is a general misunderstanding of who you are and how powerful you truly are. Thank you very much. I had to share that with somebody out there. Hey everybody, I just wanted to end by inviting you to my free online spiritual community called The Lightworkers Lab. If you're interested in finding your spiritual tribe, go to thelightworkerslab.com. Check us out, learn what we're about, and learn how you can join. Or just go to Facebook and search The Lightworkers Lab and ask to join. I also wanted to mention that every couple of months I offer an in-depth or a comprehensive spiritual or metaphysical class. And if you're interested in taking your spirituality and your connection to a whole new level, go Go to crystallandcompton.com slash spiritual hyphen classes. Check out what's coming up and join if you are so inclined. And to everybody, I just want to say that I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are on the planet today. God bless.